This is yet another late video. We are in Hull, England for the fifth BHPC event of the season. I have never been on that track before. A priori, it is a very fast track, as the turns are not that sharp. We are starting with a slower race, 40 minutes plus one lap. Joy Charles Woods has some troubles with the start. The rat racer is not really the easiest to get started. After the first lap, Tim McDonald is leading the race by a wide margin. He's followed by Nigel Slee on his challenge Chester low racer. Peter Hodgson on his prototype trike is in third place. He's followed by Jimmy T on his trike. Martin Kiesel on Kevin Standish on their trike. And Don Shackley on his Alpha 9 Velmobile are battling for the fifth place. They are going to be overtaken by Jerry Charles Woods who is catching up after his bad start. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile is flying ahead. He's followed by Nigel Slee on his Fujin Low Racer, who is quite a bit slower today. Jimmy T on his strike has overtaken Peter Hodgson and taken the fourth place. Jerry Charles Wood on his Rat Racer is closing in fast. Martin Kiesel on his strike and Don Shackley in his Alpha 9 Velomobile are quite a bit behind. It does look like James Ebelwhite on his Fujin SL low racer is getting close to them. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile has just lapped. Kevin Standage on his high sprint trike. It is always going to be difficult to match a Velomobile speed on a trike. Jerry Charleswood on his rat racer has caught up with Nigel Slee and is now in second place. Given the same rider, the rat racer is a much faster bike. I would say it's about 10% faster for the same power when going at 40 km per hour on flat roads. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velmobile is still leading the race and lapping people. Jay Charleswood on his rat racer in second place is quite a long way behind. Jay Charleswood is riding at around the same pace as Tim McDonald. Nigel C on his switching low racer is in third place. He's going quite a bit slower than the riders ahead. Sheriff Harding is still in the last place, but as long as he completes the race, he will get the maximum points for the Encycles classification, as there are no other Encycles. Jerry Charleswood is still in second place. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Venomobile is lapping Kevin Standage on his track. He's going 40% faster. I think he's faster than a few people in the fast race. The question is whether he can hold that speed until the end of the race. Jay Charleswood on his rat racer is in second place, but it looks like he's starting to catch up with Tim McDonald. Tim McDonald still probably has a 20 to 30 seconds lead as he is in line of sight of Jerry Charles Wood. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile is going to lap Nigel Slee on his Fujin Low Racer. It looks like Jerry Charles Wood on his rat racer has overtaken Tim McDonald. Jerry Charles Wood has won the race. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile is in second place. Nigel Slee on his low racer is third. Now is the time for the fast race. I'm attacking straight away ahead of Joran Farver on his M5 low racer. Not sure this is the right tactic as he usually has a faster pace on flat tracks. Lee Wakesfield in his snug Velomobile is now catching up with me. I don't think I stand a chance once he reaches his cruising speed. It is not like the York track in the previous video as there is no hairpin to slow him down. He probably still does not go at his full speed in the turn. He's overtaking me as soon as he will reach the straight part of the course. And there is nothing I can do about it. What is going on? 
A group of three riders is now catching up with me. Johan Farver on his M5 low racer, followed by Andrew Sidwell on his rat racer and Russell Bridge in his Snoopy half streamliner. Johan is now overtaking me. I have to stay in that group of riders to stand a chance. I'm probably the least aerodynamic of the group. The Snoopy Streamliner is getting faster and faster. Not sure what I am going to do against three low racers having a faster pace. Andrew Sidwell on his rat racer is overtaking me. He is followed by Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Alf Streamliner. We are slowed down by a group of back markers. I'm being blocked at the back of the slower group. There is now a big gap between me and the three low racers. I have some work to do to catch up as I am reaching 50 km per hour. I am safely back in the group. We are going at a rather fast pace in the straight. And I am overtaking Andrew Sidwell on his rat racer. Johan on his M5 low racer is picking up the pace. We are lapping one of the Watson Streamliner with all these accelerations. We somehow dropped Russell Bridge and Andrew Sidwell. Russell Bridge in his newbie Streamliner is coming back. He is much faster than he was in New York. When his Streamliner is finally complete, he will be much harder to follow. However, Andrew Sidwell on his rat racer is definitely dropped. So we are three riders fighting for the second place. Yoen is setting the pace ahead of me, and Russell Bridge in his newbie streamliner is right behind me. Wexfield in his Snug Velomobile is going to lap us, but right now he's blocked by Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner, so he's going to wait until the end of the turn. They both want to overtake me at the same time, so I'm leaving enough space on both sides. We are being lapped by Lee Wexfield in his snug Velomobile who is leading the race. We are lapping Kim Wall on her Optima Baron Low Racer. Russell Bridge in his streamliner is somehow taking up the lead of the group. We are lapping John Lucian on his Pelso Bove and Dan Bergonzi on his Raptor bike. Joren on his M5 low racer is accelerating to take the lead of the group. I'm staying in his wheel and I am overtaking Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner. I am accelerating to take the lead of the group. We are overtaking Simon Watson in the Bob Streamliner.
You read his M5 Loesser is overtaking me back. We are overtaking Kim Wood on her Optima Baron Low Racer, John Lucian on his Pelso Bove and Dan Bergonzi on his Raptor Bike. Yohan on his M5 Low Racer is still setting the pace. Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Low Racer is launching an attack. I'm launching an acceleration to close the gap. There is still quite a distance till the end. I have caught up with Russell Bridge as we are overtaking back markers again. The one forward on his M5 Loesser is definitely dropped. We are lapping Andrew Sidwell on his rat racer. I am now attacking before we start the last lap. Attack is successful as I am taking the second place behind Lee Wexfield in his snug Velmobile. Now is the time for the second slower race. After the first turn, Jimmy T on his tricycle is leading the race, ahead of Nigel Slee on his Fujin the racer. Tim McDonald is Milan SL Velomobile. Peter Hutchon on his prototype track is Force. Like in the previous race, Jerry Charleswood on his Rat Racer had a slow start. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile has now taken the lead. Ahead of Kim Wall on the Optima Baron Low Racer. Nigel Slee on his Fujin SM Low Racer is in third place. Jimmy T on his track is in fourth place as Jerry Charleswood is catching up fast. Nigel C on his low racer is lapping a few riders. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Benobi is still leading the race. Is Jerry Charleswood on his right racer going to be able to catch up? Kim Wall on her low racer is in third place. Major C on his Fujin Low Racer is now out of contention in fourth place. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile is still in the lead. Jerry Charleswood on his Rat Racer does not seem to be catching up this time and may have to settle for the second place. Now it is more like a time trial as everybody is spread out on the track. It does not look like there will be any change in the first places before the end of the race. 
Jerry Charles Wood on his rat racer is trying hard to catch up with the leader. But it is too late. Tim McDonald in his Milan SL Velomobile has won the race. Now is the time for the final race. I am attacking straight away. New Exfield in the Milan SL Velomobile is catching up with me. And he's overtaking me easily. I don't try to follow him as he is much faster. But I'm sadly about it. But After I'm nearly 3 kilometers, Yoren on his M5 Loacer is catching up with me. This time, there is no sign of Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner or Andrew Sidwell on his Rat Racer. The second place will be decided between me and your end. We are lapping John Lucian on his Peso Bove, Dan Bergonzi on his Raptor bike, and Simon Watson in the Bob Streamliner. We are lapping Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Half Streamliner. He is going slower than in the first race. We are lapping and do sit well on his rat racer. Now we are lapping Jack Watson in his streamliner. He's staying on my wheel. I guess that will give us some camera footage. We are going to lap another group of riders. Jack Watson is still on my tail, but he is not on the same lap. Now we are lapping Dan Bergonzi on his rap to back, Simon Watson in his Bob Streamliner, or John Lucian in his Pell So Worthy. Somehow Dan Bergonzi is taking Joren's wheel, and Jack Watson is still on my wheel. That forces me to accelerate to get at the front of the group. Johan Farber on his M5 Loacer is overtaking me, but he's bringing back Dan Bergonzi. But only Johan matters here as the other riders are not on the same lap. But they could create some kind of distraction. We are finally 
Dropping Dan Bergonzi on his rap to back. Overlapping Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner. We are now in the last lap. I am launching an attack for the second place. Jack Watson is still behind us somehow. I am not in on you sit well on his rat racer. And I'm getting the second place. 